as I ripped Pokemon packs with the Rizzler last week. Asus is dropping a Doom card, but can it run Doom? AMD created a 96 core CPU specifically to tackle the 100 men versus one gorilla debate. If you're not excited about this video yet, Jared found me yet another graphics card to hate. We've got hot fixes, cold CPUs, and all this news, it's keeping us big as hell on Meta PC's news. Let's go. GPU's built-in gyro and accelerometer will tell you if the card isn't level. This is for all the GPU saggers out there. A lot of people like to say, it's a euro and a bakalava. <laughs> Asus's flagship GPU line, of course, the Astral, received a brand new feature, and it's called the Equipment Installation Check. It rolls right off the tongue. It allows users to check if their expensive graphics card is still securely attached to their motherboard. You know, another way you can, you can find out is you can look. <laughs> and you can see if it's uh, still attached. So the Astro uses this Bosch Sensor Tech BMI 323, another great name, rolls right off the tongue. It's an inertial measurement unit. So that detects any changes in the position of the graphics card, which is supposed to help you with GPU sag, which a lot of people suffer from. Now, there are a lot of manufacturers that have started introducing those reinforced PCIe slots. Most hefty GPUs come with a support bracket in the box and a few companies introduced those screw holes. Have you seen those on some GPUs? On the other side of the GPU, there's a million generic brackets too. Like you can buy a, a GPU bracket for like 10 bucks, like oh. a support. There's also other features that you guys may find interesting if you have some of these high-end cards. They have Power Detector Plus, and that measures your power distribution. So there's some other cool tools that you can use on your GPU too. This is just a new one. Guys, whoever's doing this, you, you just have too much money to potentially blow. Core i9-14900KS transformed into a CPU water block uh, through the way of machining. This is direct to chip cooling taken quite quite literally. <laughs> Where most would just buy a dedicated water block, that's a typical move if you want to do such things, uh, this YouTuber machined a cold plate directly from their CPU's IHS. Dangerous and risky thing to do. Absolutely, and but so cool. But so cool! He drew water from a bucket to ensure it was a controlled environment. That's scientific. Oh yeah. yeah. How are you gonna accomplish this? What's the, what's the technical term? A bucket of water, perhaps? Just a bucket of water? While the idea of carving a water block from your IHS seems ingenious, it carries the obvious risk of destroying your processor. I don't know if that needs to be said. Why would you do this in the first place? Uh, because your processor died. You have too much time on your hands. Because Haram may die. All of these things are making me so sad. <laughs> High-end processor run hot. Cannot deal with regular cooler. Introduce bucket of water to cool more. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you want to see more monkey terms in the in the comments. I'm happy to break everything down for you. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. This looks like a karaoke video. Yeah, we've got no sound in studio right now because it's just running through my headphones. So Zach has no idea what he's <sighs> I'm just imagining. I just he's like <laughs> I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. Oh, this the graphics are incredible. Wow. Is that a this is actually incredible editing. Omar, take a look at this. Finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. Well, this guy's. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? What was that? Go back to what was that? And a random Kim Jong-un in the video. So there's this has got everything. And a Rolls Royce. I don't know why we need all this context. Yeah, let's subscribe right away. Oh, dude. Just watching that is... Uh, that's risky business. This guy's up to. I mean, it's a CNC. It's pretty, you know, accurate. It's precise. Tiny, tiny bit lower. You would have just cut straight into the down. Yeah, you're in big trouble. Uh, honestly, very impressive. This is really cool. Did he not he lit it first? No, that's the thing. Is he drilled directly into oh. the lid? This is incredible. A marvel of engineering. Nice job, sir. AMD Shimada Peak support for Asus. Trix 50 motherboards DRX confirmed. 50, like, the, like the truck? Like a truck. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> Asus has seemingly confirmed that AMD will soon launch a new Threadripper series. This is a Threadripper 9000 series, codenamed Shimada Peak. Shimada Peak. Support was recently introduced for the Gigabyte TRX 50 motherboard series. And Asus is following suit by confirming the name of the new series, so now we know. Now AMD has been up to a lot these days, and they've revealed 
that uh, they're gonna uh, confirm the highest configuration for these pro CPUs. It's gonna be 96 cores. Oh my God. Dude, so many cores. what are we even talking about? This is insane. That's almost an entire core per man fighting the gorilla. Right, right, right exactly. It's the GPU and it's 96 guys and then we just kind of factor in the four. What about 96 cores versus one gorilla? I don't know. I think I can beat a gorilla one-on-one, so. Are you serious? Yeah, so, so serious. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to take a look at this man. Hello. Uh, next week, we are going to the Phoenix Zoo and we're going to send him into the gorilla pit. Be tell me, tell me if you think that guy could could kill a gorilla. I could kill one on one. I don't think you understand the process that I've gone through to be able to kill this. Gorilla. Get out of here! Yeah. Get out of here! Stick to bad GPUs. <laughs> While nothing suggested that we were going to end up getting more cores for the new series, uh, guess what? We we are. We are a hundred percent. Uh, and some more good news. We've probably got some more details coming up because the word is that Threadripper is going to be part of the Computex 2025 showcase. New Pro Prox, the 99, 9995, the 99, 9995, that's, that's gosh, that's a lot of fun. I love how everything is named. Uh, 9985 WX uh, compared to the previous generation as well. And just look at those cores, 90s. Oh, that's a lot of threads. That's ripping threads. That's ripping. It's thread ripping. Is Windows 11 enough for normal people? Well, it's common sense. And if you have a Windows PC, you need third party security to protect it, right? No, apparently not, or maybe not. Windows Defender, uh, through the latest Windows version, you may not actually need a separate security solution is what PC World is inferring. So here's what you've got in the stack of Windows security. You have the Microsoft Defender antivirus. This is the new and improved Microsoft Defender antivirus. And the fact that they're calling it Microsoft Defender antivirus lends to, hey, don't mess with anything else. We're enough. Haven't we done enough for you? That's what Microsoft is trying to say. It offers real-time protection to detect malicious files before they harm you. But you can also do the, the classic manual or scheduled malware scans that most of your antivirus software comes with. Microsoft Defender Antivirus showed to be just as effective at detecting malware as other free antivirus solutions. They've also got Smart Screen, which is another added feature into the security suite. Uh, this is supposed to scan uh, and be like an anti-phishing, anti-malware tool that helps protect you from applications or websites that you come across that are on the weirder side of the internet. If Schedule 1 were released not through Steam and like a third party site like games used to be downloaded through, that's when you'd wanna run through that tool and just make sure there's nothing weird on there. You got firewall, defender guards, all of these things. The most important part that I found for gamers with antivirus that are really concerned about security is finding software that doesn't annoy you. Yeah. When you're, cause you do, you do more actions or do different things than the average user, right? So nothing sucks more when it pops up. It's like, hey, I'm not gonna let you do that. And you're like, I, I know this thing. I've done it a million times. I know what it is like, but, I don't trust it. You're like, what are we talking about? I'm a developer, I'm opening this app or whatever. So ESET has worked great for me in that respect. Let me know what you guys think. Is Windows 11 antivirus enough or is there something better? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, Zach. This felt, this felt a little bit like an ad for Microsoft. I know, are we, it's, it's almost like we sell, I'm in an ad. <laughs> guys, metapcs.com, go to the website. If you're looking for a new PC, we've got 50 series GPUs in stock, ready to rip, ready to ship systems. What does that mean, Phil? It means that you could get them sent out to you next day. The very next business day. If you wanna do a custom build of your own, that's what the configurator's for, buddy. You can pick all the parts. And hey, we've got financing too. We make it nice and easy for you. So go to metapcs.com if you are looking for a new PC or you know someone who is, hey, why not us? You can't Por que no meta PCs? Por que no meta PCs? Me, me gusta. Me, me gusta meta PCs? Me gusta meta PCs. Me gusta. Tariffs, but fun. That's what you guys get on this channel. This is the stuff you guys get, okay? Everyone else is doom and gloom. We're here having fun with it. Uh, tech manufacturers are suspending US shipments. Oh, this isn't fun at all. Uh, shipments amid tariff woes. Now, we've heard a lot of this too when we're trying to buy stuff from companies. They're like, hey, uh, you can get it in July. Yep. That literally, it's no joke, no exaggeration. There's some uncertainty, obviously, in pricing. Uh, we'll take an example. Keyboardio is a custom keyboard shop that is run by two people in California. Now they specialize in wood ergonomic designs. Let's pull one up. Let's pull up yeah, yeah, Keyboardio. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm just seeing a preview. The, the wood. 
that kind of looks that it's built on this is really cool these uh two are running a shop in california they make wood ergonomic designs and uh people love them but it requires essential parts like pcbs that come from china and the wooden cases they're actually sourced from american wood which is kind of cool um so that kind of helps with some of the tariff stuff but you still need PCBs. There's a lengthy blog post that they have posted uh, about how it is impossible to remain profitable for US sales. We are seeing this a lot with businesses where they're putting out statements on tariffs and just as quickly as the situation is changing, companies are having to update those statements. So like, wait, nope, or hey, hey, hold on. Like we're all kind of in limbo now. Bigger brands are feeling the pinch too, like Razer. Razer and their gaming laptops briefly disappear from its ordering page. Uh, and uh, they said, hey, listen, 30% uh, of customers uh, have canceled shipments originating from China and bound for the US. This is not looking great. In fact, Gamers Nexus did a big old video on it. Uh, we were mentioned in it, our tweet was shown. Our big break. This is the NVIDIA hotfix driver. It's uh, not something that we often saw during previous gens of these graphics cards, but listen, this is the 50 series, so, uh, you're, you're gonna get some hot fixes. Uh, it may be hard to recall the last time NVIDIA released a second hot fix driver based on a previous hot fix driver. Uh, neither is a game ready release, meaning they're not main branch drivers. So these are things that they're pushing out like, whoa, hold on, let's, let's get this out. This is, oh, we need to get this fixed real quick. Let me push this out real quick. Fingers in the dam. Just, just ah, stop ah, the water. Stop. This includes over 17 fixes since the last stable driver. You've got game crashes in Black Myth, Red Dead, and then Horizon Forbidden West. And then you have those monitors, those pesky monitor related issues like the flickering through DisplayPort 2.1, blank screens uh, when you're using certain monitors in HDR, and then gray screen crashes, all which are just awful. And RTX 50, one of the worst GPU generation ever. I love an optimist. <laughs> now maybe people will finally realize that all companies have driver problems. That's that's an NVIDIA fan that has been waiting. Yes. Or no, an AMD fan. AMD fan. An AMD fan that has been waiting. It's like, hmm, finally. It's the hotfix after the hotfix. The hotfix. It's hotfix to electric boogaloo. <laughs> what do you have, Jared? We got the Sakura Atlantis. Yep, it's Yeston card. Who'd have thought? Anime. The same one that made the smelly card, but this one's mm -hmm. a 5070 Ti. Oh, good. Yeah, no, this is adorable. I would definitely put this in my belt. The series is now spanning across rate. They've now brought this anime to AMD and NVIDIA. That's that's nice of them, huh? Yeah, look, look at that. Look, look, look at that. Look at, <laughs> look at that. But judging from forum and Reddit posts, it seems that for some users, they're even worth importing from abroad. Uh, because this, and to be fair, like design, it's not my taste, obviously. This may be some of yours, so I don't want to crap on it too much. But for a white PC build, this would fit really well. And so that's why a lot of people are starting to bring these cards in because for their all white builds, it kind of has that flavor that you're looking for, a little bit of different colors. Ooh, a built-in perfume dispenser. <laughs> we love that. Uh, it cannot be turned off. <laughs> yes. If your graphics card could oh. smell like anything, Zach, what would you make it smell like? Uh, f uh What would I have it smell like? Probably weed. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. I have another graphics card for you, though. Uh-huh. It's the Doom one. A Doom, a, graphics a Doom card? graphics card? Now this I like. This is cool. Asus reveals Doom Edition RTX 5080 Astral Card. Look at this thing. This is badass. To celebrate the 30th anniversary, uh, Asus Astral will receive a new version inspired by freaking Doom. They teamed up with Bethesda, who will sell the Astral 5080 called the Doom Edition. Not be sold by Asus directly. Uh, and it will not be sold separately. They're gonna make you buy a bundle of Doom stuff. They're gonna make you spend a little bit of money for a mouse pad, a keyback replica, a t-shirt, and oh, by the way, a 5080. The card, you got this green, gold accents. And one of the stickers features the shield saw icon, which is a weapon from the game. That's kind of fun, isn't it? The BF GPU? <laughs> Bro, dude, this is so cool. I just got a 5080, mine's a PNY. I got it because I wanted something with no RGB. I might rip it out and, and try to get one of these. Well, 1999 USD. That's almost MSRP. I'm gonna get it. Uh, guys, any interest in this? You think you might pick this up? Let me know. It is absolutely nuts that we are already talking about super configs of these cards. Insane, insane. 
NVIDIA might release the RTX 5080 and 5070 Super with boosted memory configs. It's almost like this is, um, this is what we were asking for uh, the, yeah, the entire time. There are a bunch of rumors, and we love rumors, talking about a Super Series refresh. Do I think this is gonna come like a Computex? Anything could happen at this point, but I don't think so. This is probably gonna be next year, but it's fun to talk about nonetheless. A 5080 Super with 24 gigs of VRAM and a 5070 with 16. That was kind of what maybe we were hoping the original yeah. 5080 uh, uh, release would have. Uh, the key enabler behind these configs is the three gigabyte GDDR7 memory modules. That allows flexible VRAM amounts rather than your traditional eight and 16 gig increments. So they can use those three gigabyte chips and Nvidia can offer configs like 1824 for the desktop GPUs. This is about as rumor as a rumor can get um, but nonetheless, let's maybe do some talking about what a refresh would look like. This actually wouldn't be too bad. It's just, when is this even gonna happen? Maybe CES 2026? How do you feel about people who aren't subscribed to the channel? It's it's really kind of a, sorry, I get choked up. It's okay, um, Same space. It hurts. I love you and, and I know you so well. You know, I was at, uh, I was at your birthday party and we were talking and you were like, hey, uh, maybe we could do something. And I said, will you subscribe? And then you haven't subscribed yet. And that broke my heart. Okay, we're here for Guys, it. subscribe so that Phil and Jared um, can stop hugging me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it for news? Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Guys, that's it for news. We will see you next week. Thanks so much for watching uh, here at MetaPCs. Go to MetaPCs.com. It's Friday. Just browse. Check it out.